Hello there. The temperature is still minus four degrees in Cambridge, and this uh, picture was taken a little while ago in Wiltshire, where we had some heavy snow. And we're going to keep with this uh, wintry hazards over the next few days, staying very cold, widespread frosts around, some further snow and icy conditions, and for a while there'll be some freezing fog as well. It's the radar picture over the past few hours. The white shows where it's snowing, and it's going to keep snowing in these same sort of areas. There's even a bit of snow working its way into the Midlands, some snow running eastwards across more southern counties counties of England as well. Now this evening and overnight we've still got this threat of some snow developing across the southeast of England, pushing into parts of East Anglia, and we could see as much as five centimetres of snow over the high ground. Added to that we've got that freezing fog in other areas through the Midlands, perhaps into Lincolnshire. It will be cold, there'll be a widespread frost, typically minus four or minus five, but could be as low as minus 13 tonight across the uh, northeast of Scotland, the coldest it's been all year. Well, staying with the cold weather as it led to canals in Little Venice near Regent's Park to freeze over. Narrow boats broke through the ice while our feathered friends stood on it and they added to the picturesque scene. Let's get the forecast now from Sarah. Evening to you. We've already seen some snow in the Greater London area this evening and there's more potentially on the way overnight tonight. So we have a Met Office weather warning right across the London area and the southeast until nine o'clock tomorrow morning for snow and ice. Good evening. Well, some of us haven't seen temperatures above freezing all day and the weather's been causing a bit of disruption, but certainly these sledges out in Sheffield were enjoying their snowy Sunday. Over the next few days, we're going to keep hold of this cold snap. So still very low temperatures. We're expecting more wintry showers at times, certainly icy stretches and lingering freezing fog as well. Good evening to you. Little let up in this deep freeze, which is expected to last into next week at this stage. Quite exceptional to see the longevity of this notably cold air with snow, ice and freezing fog in the next 24 to 48 hours, giving hazardous conditions. Now there, good evening. Some very cold weather set to cause a little bit of disruption over the next few days. We have some snow potentially overnight, ice in places and also the return of freezing fog, which in turn gives us issues with visibility and slippery surfaces. Yellow warning in force for the snow and the ice could get upgraded to amber in one or two spots. And we are going to be stuck with this cold weather for the foreseeable future. In fact, by the time we get to the middle part of the week, we reopen the game way to Arctic air coming all the way down from the far north. So we are going to be stuck with the cold even into next weekend. Hello there. It's been a very cold day today in Cambridgeshire, for example, where it stayed foggy. Temperatures remained below freezing all day. And we've got these winter hazards continuing into the new week, staying very cold, widespread sharp frosts, more snow and ice risk and for a while some freezing fog as well.